Hi, my name is Jacqueline Miles. I'm 23 years old, and I'm the founder of the Break the Silence campaign. My campaign sheds light on various forms of abuse, such as sexual assault, bullying, and domestic violence. We focus on the prevention of abuse through education, as well as support for victims. I have a very personal tie to this campaign because throughout my life, I have been victimized. In elementary and secondary school, I was bullied so bad that there were days I'd want to take my own life. Every time I was bullied, my self-esteem was lowered, and I found myself becoming a victim of other forms of abuse. But what made me realize that I had to put a stop to all of this in our country was surviving a very abusive relationship. I was broken down, disrespected, humiliated. I felt trapped in my suffering with nowhere to turn, and there were days where I feared for my life. The thing is, I had a degree in French and Family Studies from the University of Windsor. I considered myself well-educated, and I never thought that I would be a victim. But I learned really fast that no one has immunity to abuse. I eventually found the strength to leave that toxic relationship. And a year later, I enrolled in the Bachelor of Education program at Western University. I thought that being a teacher would be the best way that I could impact thousands of students. During my year at Alt House, I was contacted by the Miss Canada organization with a request to participate in their pageant. I wasn't sure if I wanted to compete at first, but I found out that Miss Canada is the only organization in Canada with no bikini and no talent component in the judging. It's an organization that empowers women to be successful and it gives us the liberty to achieve our wildest dreams. I decided just a few days before the competition that I would go. My platform was the hardest thing to talk about because I decided to speak about how I was victimized in the past and I was worried that I would be ridiculed for being weak or stupid as I had been before. It was extremely embarrassing for me, but I decided it was time to break the silence. And the audience and the judges agreed, it's time for change. In January 2012, I was crowned as Miss Canada. With this opportunity, I have been able to change the lives of thousands of people in Ontario by sharing my story of hope and survival. But what I have learned through this experience is that there is a lot more work to be done. And unfortunately, I can't expand my campaign further than Ontario because there's no funding for the work that I do. My dream is to empower people across Canada on a national tour this fall. I want to visit every province and territory within a three-week span. The focus of this tour will be to support victims by helping them step out of the darkness and into the light. To be safe and respected. I want to prevent victimization through education. And lastly, I will challenge our nation to take a stand against abuse. Together, we can impact decisions in lawmaking. We can stand up for the rights of our neighbors. It is all of our responsibility to join together in ending abuse. Thank you everyone for supporting my message and my tour this year. Together we can make Canada a country that is no longer tolerant of the victimization of our people. Let us be an example of global change.